what's up youtube long time no see welcome back so um basically today i'm gonna be doing a little review and uh like a mod list of everything i've got done to the car so far so we're just gonna jump straight into it okay so i got my exhaust valve open right now uh and i'll go ahead and tell you guys about that mod it's one of the first mods i did to the car <clears throat> so basically um right before the muffler right before the muffler i did a cutout that i got off ebay and um basically it just dumps out before the muffler and it's basically like a muffler delete whenever i want to and then when i close it it's a full stock exhaust so and uh it came with a little remote i'll show you guys a little remote so it came with this to open and close it but instead of using that i uh programmed these mirror buttons to actually open and close it so as you guys can see now it's quieter i don't know if the video is doing it justice or not but it is quieter and then i uh, hold the first button to open it <clears throat> and there's videos on youtube that will show you how to uh program that it's very easy um i believe you hold one of these down or something like that and then hold the button down at the same time up next to it pretty easy to program but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video all right so uh starting out with the the mods that you can see already uh i did an alcantara, alcantara steering wheel cover um i love it i could have did better on the stitching i'm not gonna lie you guys probably can see it's kind of hacked up at the bottom top is not so bad everything fits pretty well <clears throat> um <clears throat> i'd highly recommend the alcantara steering wheel cover and also you can see i got the paddle shifter uh extenders uh, these are really cheap. I think they're like 15 bucks or something like that on Amazon. Um, you can get the, the real ones. They look better. They're a little bit more expensive. Uh, but for me, these uh, work just fine. I like the blue, how it actually goes with the rest of the interior of the car. Because I have the blue accent. And I also got the blue stripe Alcantara steering wheel. Okay, so as far as the mods that uh, you guys, as far as the mods you guys can't see, I have a CTS turbo intake, and uh, it sounds really good. I, I believe it's one of the louder intakes you can get. Uh, I know uh, the Burger Motorsports intake is uh, fairly cheaper, and you can probably find those cheaper. Uh, but I wanted the sound and everything, and I wanted to be a little bit different, so I got the CTS, and uh, I don't regret it at all. The sound is amazing, especially with a stock turbo. It makes it a lot louder, like it's almost like a blow-off valve. So the next mods, uh, I'm gonna kind of piece these together. So I got the Amazon charge pipe. Uh, it's uh, pretty much metal, and um basically more durable and it's not going to crack and break uh due to the more boost and everything else and i also got the silicone turbo inlet pipe i believe it's also a cts My most recent mod I've gotten was the Pure Stage 2 Turbo. Now, I, I didn't just want to go that route, so basically let me break it down for you. So this is going to be kind of part of the review of uh, the 435 or any N55. So, um, so basically my Turbo blew up and... Uh, I don't know the actual reason or anything. All I can do is assume. But uh, 
I was stage two for a little under a year, probably like, probably about nine months, I'd say, maybe less, probably, maybe seven, eight months, I was uh, on uh, stage two uh, boot mode, so um, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, I, I'm not sure what mods had anything to do with it, or if it, or if the turbo was just on its way out anyway, but um, but yeah, my turbo blew up, and uh, it cost me a lot of money to to get the pure stage two and it put on the car. But yeah, so I got the pure stage two, and uh, it made a significant difference to the car. Basically, my stage two E30 doesn't even compare to the 93 pure stage two. Uh, so it's a huge difference. And I would say if you're gonna have to upgrade your turbo or replace your turbo, I would highly recommend going with a uh, pure stage two or maybe even the pure 750 depending on what you want to do with the car and as far as my software tuning i have i have as you just heard i have a uh, boot mode or boot mod however people want to say it uh, bm3 but that yeah i got the ots map uh, i'm right now Currently, I'm running the Stage 2 H, which is uh, the Stage 2 Hybrid Turbo, which essentially is a pure turbo, like whether it uh, whether it's a pure Stage 1, Stage 2, or 750. Um, so, yeah, I'm running that map. And uh, I have ran the E30 map, the Stage 2 Hybrid E30, and I also did a 6130 while I was on that map. And my car ran a 980, so... With just all the mods I have on an X drive, keep that in mind, on an X drive, you will be in the high nines, which is very impressive. And for the people that dig race or like to do digs uh, or launch their car, my best 60 foot I was able to get was a uh, 174 and uh my eighth mile i went a seven three two so um so i mean those are really quick numbers and i was launching in second gear giving it all the beans you know everything and uh yeah i mean i'm pretty happy with the results but uh i also did the uh XHP, which is how I'm able to give it more power on the launch. Uh, if you have an X drive and you love to launch your car and everything, I highly recommend getting the XHP. I'll let you guys hear it a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear that. Uh, that blow off sound from the turbo it it kind of i don't know what blow off valve to compare that sound to but it's got a very unique sound when i uh let off the diverter valve and i also went with the go fast bits diverter valve and to, and to let you guys hear what the car sounds like with the valve closed while you're driving you can hear a lot of drone right now and as you can tell right now, there is like zero drone. So it is highly worth uh, doing the custom active exhaust. And I just opened it back up. My last couple mods are uh, the blue bars behind the front grille. Uh, I did that, it's pretty cheap, it looks pretty cool. And uh, the last mod is, um, I did some wheels. And the thing about these wheels, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. 
I can just show you the wheels. I don't know uh, what they replicate or anything. Apparently, they used to. Apparently, at one time, BMW man manufactured these wheels on a certain M car. And uh, basically, I just bought the replicas off eBay. <laughs> So it's pretty cheap and everything. They're still good, good wheels and all. They're not, they're not the lightest and or anything or the most aggressive. But uh, I just wanted some black wheels because the Brembo brake dust is insane. So I just wanted black wheels and I kind of wanted to give that stock M car effect. And uh, yeah, these were perfect for the money. So, so that's why I went with those and they look good to me. Now, as far as uh, the review on this car, I've owned it for coming up on a year and like a month. I had this car for a year and uh, I got mixed emotions about the car, honestly. Um, so as far as daily drivable, like if you're just going to drive this car normal, never really get on it all the time. Uh, kind of baby it a lot uh, this car is very very good for someone like that um, it gets good gas mileage if you wanted to like with my semi aggressive driving I get 20 miles per gallon so um, that's pretty good so now as far as like if you wanted to track this car, race this car, or you're a person that likes to drive your car hard all the time, um, now then that's where my problem comes in because I would still recommend this car for a track car and an aggressive daily driver. Uh, but if you're gonna buy a car like this, you definitely wanna have the money sitting aside in case something goes wrong because i'm gonna tell you like if anything goes wrong with the turbo the engine or the transmission on these cars the work the work is insanely expensive and uh it is extremely hard to do yourself so it's not the uh it's not the friendliest when it comes to that and um i wouldn't say it's the most reliable car and i wouldn't say it's the most unreliable it, it's there's a pretty fine line. All right, so uh, I'm gonna set up my GoPro and uh, see if I can't get you some driving clips uh, here in the uh, cutout muffler delete I've done. So yeah, as you guys can see, it pretty much sounds like a muffler delete. Um, to me, it sounds good, and you get the best of both. Like you could just turn that all that noise off with just a with just a simple press of a button. So, uh, and it was fairly cheap. I think I spent like a hundred and something bucks. Like very cheap mod, and um, I mean, it ain't the best for performance because it adds a little weight to the car, and uh, it's still a little bit restricted. But I did it just for the sound, honestly. Yeah, guys uh so that's pretty much all my mods and uh pretty much my review on the car um oh yeah i almost forgot now there also when you get a bmw especially the f-series 
I don't know if there's if the other series do this as well, but so basically on the inside of the door. So inside on the door, uh, I have the cover on, but if I was to take this off, you'd basically see some material that kind of looks like this right here. And it's basically like melting right here and it's super sticky. It sticks in your hands, your clothes and everything. But you can go to Amazon and get these little covers and uh, it pretty much fixes it. And it looks pretty nice too. Kind of blends in with the car. I got it on both sides. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And uh, I also, I'm planning on joining the military uh, for you guys that don't know. So hopefully within the next couple months, maybe three months at the most, I'll be gone for basic and everything. I'm hoping it may not work out like that, but at least that's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, guys, till next time. Peace.